Um, yeah, this is another oven a sent from Pink Ketchup Grill. I'm not sure if that's how I was not sure if that's how you pronounce it. But um Opie and Anthony, Jimmy argues with mental patient. So yeah, let's go. Oh, uh, we got a, we got DJ on the line. Uh DJ. Hey, what's up? What's up? Opie, Anthony. Yes. I've been listening. I've been listening to you since day one. I used to listen to Howard Stern back in the 80s. Ah. When I heard you guys, I thought you were the greatest. So I started listening to you. I said, fuck Who's... Howard. But, you know, I'm mentally ill. I got bipolar panic disorder. And the way Jimmy's been talking panic. about the mentally ill well. is really making me uh, feel disgusted because... As far as I'm concerned, he's mentally ill, and he doesn't have no sympathy or empathy for the mentally ill. Oh, no, that's not that's not shit. true. Dude. That's no, not true. No, it is. It well, is. It's he's right. No, it's sort of what Jimmy was saying. Let me let me. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Yeah. I, no, I heard right. the first part right. of what you said. He's right. So I'm going to respond, and then you can finish. I, I, was, I, was I said you could finish after I respond. This is why I don't like the mentally ill, because you don't know how to have a conversation. <laughs> you just want to babble at somebody. How about you say something which you did, then I respond. Proving, and then you can say something DJ's else. DJ's point right now. DJ, okay. 100%. The bottom right. line is, DJ, I what bothers me, <laughs> it is the lack of ability that mentally ill before. people have to see how they negatively affect the lives DJ, of people around them. It's your opinion, And Jimmy. they do. They do. And that's a chemical imbalance. Exactly, in DJ. I agree with DJ on this one. I'm sure you do. I, and let me let me tell you something. You've already told was, me something, deemed, and it didn't change was, my opinion. I was, I had an, I had All you're doing is making me realize how correct I am. <laughs> for five and a half months, <laughs> yep. they wanted to give me electric shock <laughs> treatment. They should have. And... With a high they voltage fucking it. line. Why don't you just here. stop misbehaving? <laughs> Why don't you just Listen, stop it? I know, I know it's all about jokes and fun. <laughs> but There's no but after that. There's no but. Been, it's all about I've jokes been... and fun. There's no but. Do you understand? I don't care if you're affected with it. You didn't call up and complain when we were talking about rape or sodomy, but the one that affects you, no, you no, have no, a problem no, no. with. I know it hits close to home, but guess what? It hits close to home to you, too. Because as far as I'm concerned, you're mentally ill. Oh, oh, shit. oh no, you didn't. I won't even what? disagree you with you. I got did. sympathy and empathy for you. I don't need your empathy or sympathy because I won't even disagree. But I'm not so delusional that I, I thrust myself into people's lives when I'm not welcome. I'm not delusional enough to Are think, sure let me finish, that? to the think that people that around me should be affected by every, do you see what I'm saying? Do you understand you what you're doing? Them, huh? Do you understand what you're doing? You're just babbling over when I talk. This is probably what you do in your daily life. Do you understand that? DJ. Listen, I'm just trying to get a point across. You're babbling guys. over everything I Points say. I'm listening to you. Language, Anthony. What I'm saying is, what bothers, I, I know I'm a little nuts, and I acknowledge that. But on a personal level, I don't thrust myself into other people's lives incessantly. And sit in other there. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly do. And I'm not a wrecking ball in everybody's life, wrecking occasions, wrecking everything with fucking just me, me, me. That's what I'm well, talking about. I just want to make a point across that people with mental illness need support network in their life. I'm sure they do. And I, I, I have a mental illness of myself, and I, I understand what they are. And I understand that mentally ill people are a lot of times start doing well. But if you need medication, take your fuck. Not you necessarily. Take medication. Can, can I ask DJ uh, a question? Are you fully aware what your mental illness does to others around you? Yeah, it brings them down and it makes them miserable. See, you're in a different place. I think Jimmy is uh, talking about the people that aren't even aware how they affect everybody around them. And even when they are I, aware, they I continue actually, doing it. I actually have no problem with uh, someone like DJ. No. I really don't. I, I understand what I you're do. trying to say. I, I'm frustrated by the people that uh, cause just fucking havoc wherever they go and don't even have a fucking clue what they're doing. No. No, Opie, you talked about your mother, and I understand. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 
the year. But it's enraging. It's fucking it enraging. You know what? You're crying, and it is sad. It really is. It's Very not sad. like a fucking heart condition. It's not like missing a limb. It's fucking... It's a, it's the brain that we don't fully really understand, <laughs> so right. and it's a chemical imbalance. We DJ, we that, understand that, but you have to understand. That even with treatment, with uh, right? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you fucking see what I'm saying? It's not just about you and your fucking treatment. Do you understand? Nobody talks about how enraging it is for the people around you. It's always focused on the person. Me, my medicine, I'm sad. Me, me, me. How about the family members? Nobody talks about how angry it makes them. For no reason when they should only take their own lives. Nobody talks about how fucking angry. Why do you think the response was what it was? Because it's always focused on the treatment and the person and their sadness and their medicine. And the white shit in the corner of their lips. And it is never focused on the people around them. I'm glad you have been. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to people who've been annoyed by you for fucking years. No, no. From doctors that have... Oh, fuck them, too. Fuck them, too. All they do is pump you fucking zeros full of medication and send you home to annoy everybody. I'm fucking tired of it. I'm not a Just behave. <laughs> and I still fight the fight. And you I see? Fight. You see? No. You, you Look, fight. Man. You do. Blah, blah, blah. You know what, Harding? I'm tired of your bullshit. Look. Blah, 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 blah. DJ, I understand. Listen, I understand, I understand you're fighting a good fight. A good time. Ah, shut up. Mark David Chapman, all these fucking nuts. They fucking stalk celebrities and they shoot them. Fuck these nuts. Tired of them and their fucking obsessions. DJ fucking is, kooks. DJ is just that. trying to survive. Good, I'm right, glad DJ? you do. He's just trying to survive, Jimmy. People fucking sick of this no coddling of these race. fucking whack bags walking around race. yelling on subway trains. <laughs> Smother them with fucking mattresses. <laughs> hey, I am on a train shitting. You should be killed. <laughs> you fucking lump on the fucking lung of society. Shut up. Not you, DJ. I'm, I'm speaking in general here. But it's the obsession they have with themselves what? that makes me... F I empathize with a guy who's sick and trying. I really do. I'm a, I've been a fucking sober person for a long time, and I know a lot of crazy fucking people. I am talking about how nobody fucking discusses the effect they have on everybody around them. And it's True. not all the mental illness. At times, there is a narcissism and a self-centeredness and a self-obsession which goes into it. That's the part that I'm really attacking. Right. Right. Well, I've been contributing to society ever since I've been sick. I'm sure you have been. What have you done, DJ? How do you contribute to society? I work. I pay my taxes. Okay, good. You I should. have a good relationship. My ex-wife, who got rid of me because of my mental illness. Oh, see, that's not cool. That's one. That's one that's person that's sad. annoyed. Yeah, she's had enough of it. No, that's sad. It's like when I oh, watch my hoarders. Boots, my I throat hurts boots. when I watch hoarders. I just <laughs> yell, "Kill this thing!" <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I can't watch hoarders. My girlfriend's like, "Will you shut up?" I can't watch hoarders. Kill this thing. All I do is go. Why are you fixing this? Allow this fucking lump to be buried under their own excrement and newspaper collections. <laughs> no, it, it sounds like tough love. you got to give them tough love. Tough love. Tough love is right. Hold on, uh, DJ. I'm going to put you on with Hillbilly Bob from Missouri, who's also <laughs> mentally ill. Hey. Hillbilly Bob, what's up? You're on with DJ, and, uh, and you got us, of course. Well, first of all, I love Jimmy. I Thank think you. he's great, and I agree with almost everything he says. Mm -hmm. uh, just about this one instance, my mom had mental illness my whole life growing up. She was hospitalized several times. One time she called all of us kids together. There was five of us. She took a bunch of pills and said, goodbye, I'm going to kill myself. And when you grow up in an environment like that, my aunt killed herself. My mom tried to kill herself. You realize that this disease affects everybody in the house. Yes. And we loved our mom, but I determined when I grew up, I knew I had her genes in my body. I knew that I would be affected by this at some point, and so I, whenever I see these signs come out, I suck it up, I man up, and I make sure that I check myself because I know, I know that if I'm a dick 
to my family, if I'm a dick to my wife, I've been married to the same woman for 28 years, it's going to wreck my kid's life, it's going to wreck my wife's life, and I don't want to continue this. Jesus, Jimmy's got a point. How much of this fucking me, 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 that my life, my this, it's like, yeah, all right. But that was funny. Just behave. <laughs> but that was part one anyway, I'm going to do part two now. But yeah, sweet.